Mr. Clonerty, in your report on the reform on uh, football governance, uh, you mentioned that needs uh, of some changes and reforms in the football governance. What are they in general meaning? Well, the, the recommendations were made by their own independent governance committee, and they implemented the ones, quite frankly, that Mr. Blatter liked, and didn't implement the ones he didn't. For example, uh, over a certain age, you would not be allowed to be on the executive or hold a major position, as it is with whoever. So Mr. Blatter would be retired already, and many of the executive committee also. Mm -hmm. But also, it's about transparency. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a dark area of sport governance for many associations, and FIFA is the best example, mm -hmm. where you can't see into the processes. They are not done publicly, uh, and therefore the public don't have any confidence that the sport has been run without corruption. Mm -hmm. So there are many specific uh, recommendations in that field. But that leads us to the second question, is if there has been corruption, mm -hmm. bribery, uh, use of money to buy votes, mm -hmm. then no agreement should stand that is a breach of rule of law and is corrupt. And that leads us to the last, question, last point, which is of course the Qatar 2022 World Cup. Was it corruptly uh, bought and should it be the place they hold the cup mm -hmm. in 2022? So in this context, what are the recommendations of the Assembly to FIFA and UEFA? Specific recommendation is that the uh, 2022 World Cup choice of Qatar mm -hmm. was bought by buying votes, by bribing people to buy votes, and that therefore it is invalid. It is also an area, a country, where its human rights record, the deaths of thousands of workers who are building infrastructure at the moment, not just World Cup, but infrastructure, are dying. And it's been recorded they have died of heart attacks, when in fact they are worked to death in 40 degrees heat and above. It's not a fit place for a human rights organization to approve of for such a, a major celebration of what is in fact the most popular sport in the world. So it's an indication that there is reputational damage here for anyone associated with this World Cup, for the sponsors, for the country, for FIFA, and they have to rerun it. But we run it as the new rules say, which is everyone in the Congress has a vote, not just the executive, that small group of people who are paid 200,000 200, euros a year to be on that committee. No, it, it's money is making FIFA a corrupt organization. And we have to somehow clean that up. They have to clean that up before we as a Council of Europe, a human rights organization, can approve of how they behave in the future. So that is what the report is all about, but it's focused on the fact that 2022 World Cup must not stand. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Connor.